Example 1, we want to consider the voting system with three players, P1, P2, and P3, and list all of the sequential coalitions that can be formed. So when we were looking at the Banzaf power index, we just listed all of the different coalitions that could be formed with the number of players that we had, and we used these curly brackets to indicate that we were doing so. So we had coalitions with just one player, we had coalitions with two players, and coalitions with three players. And if there were four players, we had coalitions with four players. In sequential coalitions, all of the coalitions are going to have all of the players in them. And it's a sequential in that the order that we list them in the coalition is the order in which they join the coalition. Um, and we will see why we do that when we get to some of our um, other examples for this shapely schubic power index. So we want to make all of the different orderings of these three players as we can. And so um, the notation that we're going to use to indicate that this is a sequential coalition is um, this bracket that looks like a less than symbol, and then on the other end, the bracket that looks like a greater than symbol. So I'm going to start off by listing coalitions that start with player one. So player one, player two, and player three. And then player one, the only other way that we could list player one being the first player is if we just switch players two and three. So we'll do player three and player two. These are the only two coalitions that have player one in the first position. So now we'll switch to player two being in the first position. And so next we could have player one and then we could have player three. And the only other coalition that starts with player two in the first position would be switching players one and three around. So player three and player one. So now we have all of the coalitions with player one first, all of the coalitions with player two first. So now we'll go on to player three being first, and we could have player three, player one, player two. And then we could have player three, and then switch players one and two around. So player two, player one. So that is how you would make this list. A couple of things to remember when you see the squiggly brackets. I'm not very good at drawing them, but when you see those, this is not sequential. So if you had player one comma player two, and you have the squiggly brackets, this is the same as having player two, player one. So here order does not matter. But if you have these brackets, then having player one listed first and player two listed second is not the same. as having it the other way around. And the only reason that you would have two players in brackets like this is if you only had two players in your voting system. So remember in the sequential way of writing things, we list all of the players that are in the voting system in every single coalition. So that is it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope you're having a wonderful day.